every time I've had to make a better piece or to make a performance, yes, we've always been challenged. We've always been posed by those environmental challenges, um, either around the seaside here in Lagos or within this industrial area where we where we're situated, where Kenyans are situated. We're always um, facing those challenges having, and having to find a way to walk around it. We live, I mean, our office is currently in in um in an industrial area where there are several factories and big buildings with plants and generators all around and um for an organization that uh focuses on topical issues um on climate change on waste management on water sometimes um we sometimes feel like our impact as performers is not being felt or that our stories are not being told enough so um, I wouldn't say there is a specific way we manage or handle these challenges or these concerns currently, but rather than sitting down to do nothing or to just keep looking or complain, we put them into performances and then we take them mostly into public spaces to talk about waste, talk about hygiene, to talk about the climate, to talk about um, um, sea reclamation, water, um, and all, several environmental issues. So we basically address them by putting them into works. The theater industry in Nigeria is getting more and more vibrant by the day. Um, but just like every other sector of the economy of the country, um, the industry is posed by several challenges. Um, importantly, lack of funding, lack of government, private institutional funding lack of theater spaces, lack of institutions that are dedicated to propagating the, what theater is about. Um, the space of training and capacity building as well. Um, these are some of the challenges. And over the years, a lot of stakeholders, like us at Kininsaw, we've been trying to do a lot to see how can we create some sort of employability schemes or impact around the work that we do, and not just making it a, um, an approach or a means to make art and keep art alive, but also to look at um, how do we increase the viability, the business side of the work that we do. Theater largely is threatened by digital media, threatened by film, threatened by um, all forms of technology, um, which should normally um, the tools to develop the work that we do as theatre makers. But unfortunately, they find themselves in the same space and having to compete for who's for me now, who's not for me now. Um, so uh, the, the challenge of marketing is also a very big deal. Uh, and marketing really can also happen when the funds are available. Also, the inability of theatre institutions to actually train people so well or engage um, the town and gown, have a feel of the town and gown to engage professionals from the outside world. So these are a series of challenges, but the industry as a whole um, is trying but could do better if we have all those things in place, if we have all those opportunities, if we have platforms at which a lot of people who are passionate want to make work, but if we have platforms where they can show their work and um, make something from the work that they do, it would be really, really better. My advice for the government, for creatives like me, for institutions as well, for people, would be to invest, to first think impact. Um, I believe when we think impact, then money will come, money will always follow. Uh, we've been able to do the little things that we can do because we're so passionate about the work about the art, about theatre. Um, is it paying us well yet? No. But we're not where we used to be 11, 12 years ago. We're not where we were two years ago or even early last year. So it keeps getting better and better. And that's because we not only invest into the people or the process, we also invest directly into the community where we work and the different communities where we work. And looking at how theatre can penetrate across different spheres of the society, from children to religion to politics to education and so on. So because theater is such a robust industry. So my ideas, my advice would be 
to invest positively, make impact, think impact, think design, think development, think we, think big. Um, we have to kill the scarcity mentality of um, because it is not there or because nobody is doing it, then we will do nothing. Um, so we really have to invest more time, invest more resources. Um, uh, amidst all the pain, invest more resources, invest um, all that we can, and to keep making work, whether we think it's great or not, we have to keep making it. For on an on a more institutional level, like for government, government needs to fund theatre. No industry can thrive without government support. And even though we are, we've gotten to where we are now, with little with nothing from the government, but it will make a lot of difference if governments now begin to consciously allocate budgets, um, train people, invest in capacity building, invest in knowledge sharing, process sharing, cultural exchange, and um, it will do a lot for the industry.